Welcome back. I'm David Gann, CEO of DNY Laboratories. We're the manufacturers of double helix water. Now, uh, if you watched the last video, you know that double helix water is exactly that. It is water. It is not a curative agent. It is not meant to be used to cure or treat diseases. It's not a medication of any type. It's the most natural substance on earth, H2O. Why do we call it double helix water? Uh, you know, about nine, 10 years ago, something like that, when we had learned to concentrate it in higher and higher concentrations, all of a sudden, uh, we got this picture right here. You see a double helix. And we said, hmm, very interesting that it forms a double helix. Now, why would that happen? And uh, it would happen because of these little particles would only bond in a certain way. They'd get together, they'd stick together in only certain ways, and they stuck together in ways that made a double helix. There's solid agreement among other scientists throughout the world that life somehow began in water. The, the earth was covered with a ocean. That It was a big ball of water, three, three and a half, billion years ago. And it's pretty, I mean, the uh, consensus with, with most scientists is that life began in that big ball of water. And here we stumble across a particle that we feel is a fundamental particle in water, water. And all of a sudden, if you concentrate it, it starts forming a double helix. What's so interesting about this water also is that if you drink this phase of water, and yes, you can drink it, it is water. I don't care how you look at it, how you analyze it, what you do with it, it comes back, it's H2O. But when you drink this water, you take this little bottle here, you get yourself a glass of distilled water, and you put about four or five drops of this water, three, five drops, something like that, into a glass of water and drink it, here's what happens. You look at this image that I'm going to show you that, of this person, and uh, what's happening here is this camera that this person is photographed in is basically capturing heat, and the the red areas and the white the white is the hottest, then it's red and yellow, and then blue is the coolest. That's this camera is simply looking at the heat signature coming off the body. But looks what happens 15 minutes after this person drinks this water. Now you'll look at this picture. How, where did the heat go? It's totally changed. And if you do this using just distilled water, you'll see no change. And you know, people say, oh, well, yeah, I'll just give somebody water, they're gonna cool down. No, not at all. Because we've taken nearly a thousand pictures over the last five years, and we find that there is a significant change of heat when you drink this water. Now, how, how, how can we account for this? Well, in a, from a pure physics point of view, uh, when you look at these particles, and we, f we photograph these particles using a very fancy microscope called an atomic force microscope, one of the most sophisticated microscopes in existence today, we find that the particle actually has two ends to it, a, or a left and a right, or a plus and a minus. They're basically called polar particles, and they would form chains, electrical chains, if you pour them into something, they would hook together because of just the way they're arranged. So we go, wow, this water could be extremely good conductor, even though that the pure water that it's found in, these particles are found in, is not a conductor at all. It's too pure. It has no metals. It has no minerals. So consequently, it won't conduct electricity. But the particle would. So we think that when you drink this, water, that heat, that hot area, which would be uh, basically is just energy at that point, will dissipate away because you're laying in sort of electrical lines into it and that is dissipating. That leads us to another very interesting topic and that's a topic that uh, Dr. Lowe, my research partner, has been suggesting about five years, that we're looking at this particle, he says, is the material basis for what the Chinese have been searching for for three to 4,000 years, and that, that is this, this electrical system of the body called meridians. And that's what the next video is about, so please tune back.